Easton's Mallory Elias broke open for six three pointers in an OT win over Nazareth on Friday night and would continue to connect last night against Liberty. Elias was part of four opening triples from both teams, each had two apiece. Eva Kopetsky with the last of the four to tie the game at six. And that was before the Red Rovers went on a little run, fueled by another triple from Mallory Elias. Sister Megan Elias would also have two trays in the first quarter. This one from the top lifting her squad into a 16 to 10 lead after the first. Liberty would make their way back in the second and even take their first lead of the game. It all started with a steal and layup for two from Ruby Miller before Layla Orth went deep for three triples to lead 28 to 27 at the half. This third quarter would see six combined three pointers. Ruby Miller and Ava Kopetsky each had two apiece to stay ahead by a possession. Their lead would never exceed that thanks in part to Ivelisse Cole who had nine Nine points in the frame and 20 overall. Leading 45 to 42 into the fourth, Easton would pull away for good despite Liberty's four threes in the quarter, two by Kopetsky, who finished with 19 points. Mallory Elias would add one more of her five triples to close it out, defeating Liberty 67 to 55. Defensively toward the end, we definitely grabbed rebounds. Definitely the first half, first quarter, second quarter, we let them get too many offensive boards, which led to second chances. And that was the difference between the first and the second half. In the first half, we didn't shoot that well, but we kept at it and keep, kept shooting. Our defense definitely came in second half. You know, first half wasn't going as we wanted to, but second half ended up coming around. It was raining threes for both teams tonight with a combined 22 triples. Liberty had 14, while Easton had eight. They'll need all of that and more now full steam ahead into the playoffs after yet another undefeated regular season. It's awesome definitely doing a second year in a row, but we know that there's a target on our back no matter where we go, and we have to keep playing the best we can. Definitely just keep our poise throughout the games, you know, hopefully get a championship. That'd be great, but um, just definitely staying together and to not lose our balance of where we're at right now. In Bethlehem, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.